Hi everyone, Miss Tart and Fran reporting for duty. It's been a while since I've done a video. The last one that I did was the August Violet box. Um, but since then I've made a few purchases and thought I would share. I also just got my September Violet box so that will be the next video that I will post. But I just have a little mini recent acquisitions video here for you. And the first thing that I would like to talk about is my wet brush. Now, the wet brush is something that I heard about on YouTube. That's what it looks like. Ooh. I heard about it quite a lot on YouTube, but always in American videos. And I didn't actually think we could get it here. And so I was going to get a Tangle Teaser, which is kind of like a... Um, it looks a lot like a wet brush, but it's got no handle, and it's basically the same thing. Um, but it's, they're really expensive. They're about between $28 and $35, and I just couldn't really justify spending that. And then I was in my new hairdressers, and I noticed that they had wet brushes, so I decided to pick one up. And it was only $15. Uh, which is less than what you'd pay for a hairbrush at Farmers or something like that. So I got this one and I just think that they are amazing. It, it kind of massages your head but I have to brush my hair right after I wash it. I know it's bad but there's just no way around it for me so um, after I've put my product through my hair I just brush it with my wet brush and it doesn't pull and it gets out the tangles really easily and yeah so it's really really good so I've been doing that a lot and I uh, must be on a bit of a brush kick because I've also just started using my um, electric toothbrush as well and I'm finding that amazing so if you haven't tried an electric toothbrush try it because oh I wouldn't go back they're so amazing but the next thing that I got is the Clinique face brush and it looks like this looks like a wee bit of an iPod type thing but yeah and it is very similar to a Clarisonic. Um, Clarisonic I was actually just going to get one last year and I was going to get one from Nordstrom in America because they actually ship to New Zealand and the duty is all paid for and everything because obviously at Nordstrom some of the things are quite expensive and so you could be hit with duty um, but they calculate it all into the transaction at checkout and um, it was going to end up about 250 New Zealand dollars and that just seemed like quite a lot um, so I didn't get one but then Clinique which um, I already use Clinique skincare and love it they brought out their own recently into New Zealand and so I thought I would try this is $165 and you get a little starter kit of cleanser toner and moisturizer all with it and it works the same as a Clarisonic. It vibrates. Oh, wow. Okay, still a little bit of water left in it from last time. I used it. Um, but it's got these green bristles that are, I'd say more harsh, but that's kind of a bad way of putting it. They're stronger and more vigorous than the white ones. The white ones are very, very soft. And the green ones are a bit, they're, they're, it's for your T-zone, the green bit is for your T-zone. So I really like that and it's also tilted so that you can get into the hard to reach places. And my skin was going through a bit of a bad patch and as soon as I used it, even the f once, um, I already saw and felt a difference. Um, you know, I'd been, <laughs> I'd been... I'd run out of exfoliant, so I'd been exfoliating my face with my partner's Nivea for men. And it still felt, I still felt muddy. And one time using this and I didn't feel muddy anymore. So that was really amazing. And last but not least, I've been on, <laughs> I've been on Beauty Bliss again. I need to stop going onto that website, but it's just amazing. And yeah, so, and I, if you remember rightly, we were supposed to get a, ivory lace cello eye pencil in my first violet box and I ended up getting the weird cinnamon color and I was going to um, order the cello one online and then I noticed that NYX was bringing out their push-up bra for your eyebrows which looks like this and as you can see it is 
an eyebrow pencil at one end, which kind of looks like that. They reckon it's a universal color, so apparently any anyone can use it. I've got quite dark eyebrows and it works very well for me. And then the next side is, and as you can see, I've already, I've only had it about a week and a bit, and I've used it to death. And this is like an under eyebrow highlighter. Put it there. And it's really creamy, you can kind of blend it in quite easily. And yeah, it, it really does lift your eyebrows, it makes an amazing difference. So I have been caning that and I'm really glad that I didn't um, go with the cello one because on Beauty Bliss this is only, it was either $16 or $18, I'll link it below. But yeah, so I mean that, that's really good for New Zealand cosmetics. And with it, I, <laughs> I don't even know what possessed me to buy this but it was just so beautiful. And I hadn't bought a palette in a long, long time. Like I think the last palette I bought myself, I can't even remember. So I decided to get Balm's Eye palette by The Balm. And this is an amazing palette. It's, um, it's, I love the packaging. It's like 60s type surfer girl packaging. And it says, we like our boys like we like our brows in shape. And what they're relating to, uh, referring to, is that it has these. Sorry if I don't want to blind you with that, but it has these all these beautiful shades. These ones here, are to you can use them as eyeliner. These ones here are good for your brows, and these ones or eyeshadows. I think you can use them all as eyeshadows, but that's what they are meant to be used for. And they've got such cute names like Wipeout, High Tide, um, Kawabunga, Surfari. That's that beautiful, the beautiful purple one in the middle. That one's called Safari. I love that one. I haven't used it yet. I'm waiting for the right occasion. But also, um, this part here folds down and it has beautiful drawings and oh, fold that one down comes with these little oh sorry you might not be able to see that these little stencils that you can use under your eye it's like a fallout guard and also you can use them to shape your brows you can use the top to shape your brows and this one this one I don't know if you can see that but it's got little bits that you can use for a cat's eye. It's like a stencil for a cat's eye. So I just thought that was such a cute palette. And I don't know if I actually, I've used the stencils as like an under eye fallout um, guard, but I haven't used the eyeliner stencils yet. But I think I will. But yeah, so it's got this cool brow guide down the bottom. And I just thought that that whole thing was just so beautiful. and. It's, I don't think it was that expensive. I think it was about 55. Yeah, and I got that off Beauty Bliss as well. So that is my little um, mini haul, my re recent acquisitions. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you're all well. Okay, take care. Bye.